Hi, everybody. Welcome to Leaning Left. I'm David Rodriguez. You know, if there's one thing that Republicans on Twitter slash X really like to talk about is the Biden crime family. I assume they do this on Fox News, too. I really try not to watch that, but I see it a lot. Hashtag Biden crime family. And the funny thing about that is that there's only one criminal in that family that we know of, uh, that being Hunter Biden, who has come clean about his various activities that were criminal. Like, he's not hiding it, and he seemed very willing to do whatever he has to to make good on that. He paid back some of the money that he was supposed to, and, you know, he, he seems to be working towards that. There's no proof at all that his dad or his mom or anybody else was involved in any of this. So, to call it the Biden crime family is a little weird because, again, only one person in the family is a criminal. Now, uh, I'm not the type of person who thinks that just because a kid turns out, you know, not too great, makes bad choices, that that is always all the fault of the parents. I just don't think that's true. You know, there are great parents out there who sometimes have a kid that goes off the rails. There are really bad parents out there who have kids that end up being really awesome people. I mean, it happens. Certainly, bad parenting can lead to some bad behavior, but it doesn't always necessarily do so. Let's look at what's shaping up to be the real crime family in politics. I'm talking, of course, about the Boberts. Lauren Boebert. Congresswoman Lauren Boebert. Wow. Okay. So, she has some run-ins with the police in her past for harassing her neighbors and um, getting into it in some way with a police officer. I'm not sure exactly if it was just words or what happened, but she has had some legal trouble. Her ex-husband now, uh, Jason, he exposed himself to minors at a bowling alley. What a winner, right? And now, now we have one of her sons, Tyler Bobert. He's facing multiple felony charges for uh, vehicle trespassing and illegally having some identification documents that sound like maybe uh, perhaps identity theft going on, which honestly, I don't really blame him for that because if I was Lauren Bobert's son, I'd want to steal someone else's identity too. Now, there's also some kind of word about some kind of um, a tape he made uh, with someone who is underage, but... He wasn't actually arrested for that, so I don't know if there's any truth to that. So uh, I'm going to leave that to the side. We'll just deal with the stuff that that we know. And, um, you know, these things aren't minor. Like, he's kind of been a one-man crime spree. He's been trespassing, all kinds of things. So uh, he seems to be in a lot of trouble. And now, look, I'm not heartless here, okay? Like, Lauren Boebert, as much as I dislike her, is a human being. And I'm certain that this whole uh, deal is uh, is very difficult to handle within our family. You know, I, I can only imagine what it must be like uh, to, to have something like that go on. So uh, in that sense, I hope it all, you know, clears up and, and however it's supposed to, however it should, and uh, everything works out okay. I hope the whole videotape thing is not real. You can look that up on your own. Um, you know, I, I don't know. I don't have an opinion on that. Who knows? I will say this. When your kid has to look up to their parents, and their parents have both done criminal acts, that can be kind of a problem. And, and it doesn't have to be, right? Because, uh, and, and I don't know what kind of discussions they had around their house, but the parents could say, hey, look, I made these mistakes. I did these things. You need to be smarter than I was. Don't don't repeat, repeat my mistakes. That's the way to handle it. I mean, we're all flawed, right? Any of us can make a bad decision under the right circumstances or the wrong circumstances as they may be. But... Here's where it goes a step further than that. You know, I don't know if they had that conversation or not. And I don't know what um, Jason, her former husband's uh, political views are. But when he has to see his mom day after day after day defending someone who is a known liar, who has all these alleged criminal acts. I say alleged because I have to, but we've seen a lot of them right? I mean, he is guilty of fraud, so we know that, right? And, and there's a lot of other things, which hopefully, hopefully, we will see how that pans out too. But this repeat criminal activity, who's got 91 indictments, and he sees his mom day in, day out for the last several years, standing up for this man, you know, praising him on Twitter, saying how great he is. If they ever did have that conversation with their son about how they'd make mistakes and he shouldn't make the same ones, that means nothing now. Because I'm going to assume that her son is reasonably smart. I don't know. But you don't have to be super smart to see what's going on here. 
you don't have to be super smart to see that your mother is idolizing and suggesting other people idolize this man who is a he's a swindler i mean he's a, and, and that's the nicest thing i can say about him he he was found to have raped eugene carroll okay so what kind of lesson is he supposed to take from that and what is he gonna do when he comes across a decision point whether or not he should do this bad thing or not what will get him the admiration of his mom and the people around him? What will do that? Well, Lauren Boebert has given all of us that example. We know what she admires. So don't get me wrong. Whatever all Tyler did, that's his fault. He has to pay for that. And I'm not saying that they should go arrest Lauren because of what her son did, unless she was involved, which I, I have no, I've not heard anything like that, so I don't think that's the case. But can we say that her parenting might have had something to do with those bad choices? I think so. So in the very off chance, in the very off chance that Lauren Boebert sees this, let me just say this, Lauren. Why don't you stop talking about the Biden crime family? Why don't you stop talking about the migrants committing a bunch of crimes. Which, by the way, they do statistically lower than uh, natural-born U.S. citizens, but that's neither here nor there at the moment. Why don't you stop focusing on those kind of crimes? Why don't you start focusing on what's going on inside your house and working to fix it? That's what I think, anyway. How about you? Let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think about this whole situation. I mean... I do hope, however it should turn out, based on what he did or didn't do, this all turns out the right way. I really do. You know, and, and just as a human, I hope that her family recovers from this and is fine. But I got I mean, I think Lauren should hold herself somewhat accountable for this. So yeah, tell me in the comments again what you think about that. If you think I'm crazy, if you think I'm right, if you think I'm too gentle, if you think I'm too harsh... I always want to hear that kind of thing. I just think it's uh, it's really interesting, and I like, I like to hear other people's viewpoints on this in case I'm way off base, but I don't think I am. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please like and subscribe and click the bell icon so you know about the next time I put out a video. And in the meantime, stay woke, stay vigilant, keep fighting, and remember, if you keep leaning left, you'll always be right.